Today I'm strapping a VR headset to my noggin and we're playing a little bit of Ghost of Tabor and some offline raids because there's three topics I want to touch on. First of all is going to be streamer mode, which I made a video on the other day showcasing exactly what that does. And it is a really sweet feature. However, there's some pretty nasty frame rate chug that's introduced when you tick it on. I have a very high end PC, a 4090 i9 DDR5 RAM, blah, 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 hibbity bibbity. Pretty much tanks my performance to where in my Valve Index headset, the frame rate becomes about half. It goes from 140 hertz, the max native or fresh rate of those lenses down to about 60, which is the image that you as the spectator are supposed to be seeing a nice locked off 60 image. And I'm still supposed to be seeing the full resolution. However, since it's casting to the streamer image and then capturing an OBS and powering my headset, something's going on to where the communications get all floppy jawed on each other. I've even diddled with the in-game settings. They do absolutely nothing. It doesn't matter if I'm at Epic settings, which I usually do run everything completely twisted to the right at Epic settings, but I even tried everything at low. At first, I started with things like foliage and shadows, the things you usually taper back on if you're having issues with your PC, but I turned everything to low and it made zero difference. It is just ticking streamer mode on and off that makes this huge performance difference. So I'm going to diddle with that in this video, but I really like the way that streamer mode looks because it gives you a wider field of view, locks off the tilt to where you don't see my head tilting. It's just a flat image, gets rid of some of those micro stutters or jitters and movement and adds some really cool camera angles like a barrel cam. I also want to show you what the virtual stock acts like when it is activated and turned off because it does make a huge difference and my advice is going to be to turn it on unless you are a hip fire champion. Every gunfight you get into, you just stand at the edge of a corner, stick your gun out of the side and dump the mag blind fire style, which I don't advise and airsoft paintball IRL tactical operator shit or a milsim game like this or anything. You kind of want to see what you're shooting at. Having said that, if you engage the virtual stock and you're not using a physical stock. It stabilizes your front and rear hands to where you can land your shots at mid to long ranges a lot easier because it adds anchor points to your body to where the stock is basically held right here in your shoulder and you have three points of contact as opposed to two very loose points of contact with the virtual stock off. And then I'm going to show you sight offset, which sure enough, when you come from low ready and then you post out with your firearm, you're trying to get that sight alignment with the front and rear sights or single sight. Maybe you're running a red dot or something. And what the sight offset setting does is to where when you grab the gun with your offhand. This is more noticeable with long guns, but it also does matter with handguns as well. It'll actually tilt the gun upward or downward. So if your front sight post is like this or like this, and you're having to angle your wrists at a very awkward angle, you're going to mess with this slider bar until when you break out and post your hands out in front of you and you're getting that side alignment, everything just lines up as it should. Long winded intro. Take the breeze out of those sails. Gameplay footage, please. So you can tell I got a little bit more comfortable with my firearm handling. At least I remember to check my slide to make sure I got around chambered. In all seriousness, just after a few days of messing with my settings, getting everything dialed in the way I like, running around killing Phoenix or the AI scavs, getting a little bit of map knowledge, and then of course jumping into a few real raids naked to kind of get used to how players are going to engage you and how good or bad the actual player base of Tabor players are. Keep in mind it is cross play with quest players, so you're going to get a lot of the more casual standalone quest players. Then you're going to get some of those hard core $2,000 PC VR running on a treadmill with a vibration vest motherfuckers running duos, trios, or quads slinging AP rounds into your vest with wanton disregard. So I'm getting a little bit more accurate, but as you can see, it still takes me quite a bit of time to go from low ready or God forbid in my holster to lining up my sights on an enemy. So if these weren't AIs and these were players that knew what they're doing, there's a good chance that I'd be in an early grave. I know I'm new. I'm going to get better over time. I swear it. So I really like playing this piece of cover because you can pop out left side, right side. Makes me feel super agile and nimble like I'm playing paintball or something. And then I do a little wrap around playing peekaboo. How do you do around this pillar? Drill them in the face, grab my bag. There really isn't as much of a reason to take off your backpack or drop your bag in a gunfight as there is in Escape from Tarkov because it doesn't affect your aiming speed or your aim sensitivity. Just your character movement speed, your walk speed. Not the way guns aim and handle like they do in Tarkov. That's why you see a lot of streamers toss their bag before a gunfight. You don't really see that in Tabor uh, hardly at all. Usually if people drop their bags, it's because they accidentally took it off, which does ha happen sometimes. I'm new, but I've heard they used to be so bad. That a little problem with my side alignment there, but we, we put them down. That the bags would just like not work like you would want them to. Get a little bit closer because I'm rocking a pistol. Moving through the bushes. 
jumping through the train, running a train on whoever's about to get fucked here. Got that side alignment. Peek out here, nice and smooth. Goodbye. Suck it. Give me these knees. Let's try and put that streamer mode back on, yeah? And see, let's see, let's see, let's see what that'd be like now. Doesn't really make any difference to my performance. Holy shit, they're all rushing me now. But it, it, it does um, look shittier to you. I might throw a grenade. They're rushing me like a bunch of fucking silly willies. Pop the top on it like Pringles. Once you pop the fun, do not stop. That's a good throw. But not that good. I didn't get a single kill. Uh, golly jeepers. Not wonderful. Let's heal up real quick. All right, my niblet. <laughs> yep. My grease gun. Let's go... Fuck some ass. Where do you grip this thing? Good lord, I feel so weird. Oh my god. I might actually turn the virtual stock thing off. Basically just dump the mag. Oh yeah, that's way better. That's with it off? I'm not gonna say way better, it's actually way harder. You can blind fire though, like a crazy person. That's without it. Sir, you can't hit me from here. But just in case, I'm gonna crouch down behind this car here on my knees. Whoop. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my lord. Jesus, mother of most jeepers, creepers. Those guys are brutal. You can't reach in any of the cars, even though it's, you know, open. You should be able to set your gun down on, like, the seat. You can't. You gotta set it right here on the hood. Whew, take a breather. My goodness, that was crazy. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Do I still got a pistol on me? I dropped it somewhere. Dropped my fucking AR accidentally. Happens to the best of us, you know? All right, this guy's running over. He wants the business. I'm gonna give it to him. I think I'm in my wall right now. IRL. <laughs> that kill needed to happen. Whoa. Had a hard time grabbing my arrow there. Whoa, they're all coming. They all want a piece of the business. How the fuck are you alive? Oh, I don't think I have a gun anymore. Just got a whole hell of a lot harder. Dude, without the fucking virtual stock, it is crazy. Here we go. Now we're... Feels like it's still off. What the fuck? Uh, don't lie to me now. Telling me it's enabled, but feels fucking weird. Streamer mode do be looking a little choppy again, too, man. All right, I'm turning it off again. Boy, those scabs get a little bit buck wild on there. Where the hell did I drop my Glock is like a, a serious question that I do have. Onward and upward, boys. See, without that streamer mode, I can go completely sideways. So a couple settings I advise diddling with is going to be grit threshold, which by default is 92. But if you lower this, and keep in mind, if you lower it to zero, Sometimes you can't grip or pick up anything at all, so you might need to have this at one, one percentile in order to pick things up. But this makes it to where when you barely grip your Valve Index controllers or HTC Vive, whatever controllers in the palm presence sensor region, you'll pick up items easier, which make grabbing your pistol from your belt quicker, picking up loose loot, pretty much everything you're going to do in the game. And grip release threshold is going to be how much do you need to loosen your fingers before you drop what's in your hand. So I would mess with these two, but the grip threshold, I would definitely lower that to the lowest possible value, one to two percent. But what I want to showcase now is going to be hand pitch rotation offset, which not only kind of raises the entire gun up or down from your sight line, but also pitches your hand to where the front of the gun, the barrel would be staring up at the sky or staring down at the floor. And you obviously want it to where when you bring the controllers up to your goggles, up to your face, you have that side alignment, that perfect sight picture. So what made me think that I needed to mess with this was picking up this MAC-10 style handgun, because whenever you grip it, it automatically cocks it at a weird angle. But this is this specific gun. When I pick up a rifle, in just a minute, this SKS, you will see that I have proper side alignment at negative four, which is what I usually run. Anywhere between negative two to negative four has my sight picture perfect for me. I'm still getting better at going from low ready to on my sights and ready to click faces, but at least my settings are aligned. Hey man, I'm trying to do something on my computer and you're shooting at me. What's going on? See you over there? That is just rude. Oh, he actually fucking killed me <laughs> to the right calf. Bitch. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers, so this information will reach and assist them as well. Much like the back of the TV, I've got plugs for all of my socials down there in the description below. And your wallet will greatly thank you if you check the description because there are exclusive discounts on a ton of products, including controllers, control freaks, keyboards, mouse pads, clothes, and energy drinks. And keep in mind that you, the viewer, keep this channel running. The more stallions and stallionettes trotting around the stable, the better. So mollywop that subscribe button like it owes you money, and we'll have the same amount of fun tomorrow. Yeah.